I'm so pleased that the Poet Laureate is composing a new work in Harry's honour and that the BBC has made this special programme as a tribute. It is of the greatest importance that the stories of Harry and the fine soldiers he served alongside live on as a legacy to ensure we never forget. In the nine years that I've been Poet Laureate, I've had some remarkable opportunities, but none quite like the chance to write about Harry Patch. It is by some distance the most interesting of these sort of commissions that I've had. Yeah, it's daunting. Um, it's daunting because it's a big challenge. It's daunting because um, I want to pay him the respect that he deserves. Charlie Ware, Stanley Pierce, Harold Chivers, Pernilla Moore. It's so enormous, the First World War is a subject. It's so awful. Who am I uh, to feel that I can say anything about it which is telling, new, different, surprising, adequate that hasn't already been said already? We have the great poems written during the First World War. I can't help but be anything but a Johnny come lately to, to this. Who oh, when his arms, who to their glory came through the dust and noise of battle, the battle flame. No. Because of the not much short of reverential feelings that I have about him because of what he went through and how magnificently he's endured and survived, um, I feel that I, it, really quite a heavy burden on me to um, pay him due respect, to celebrate him and honour him as he deserves to be celebrated and honoured, but at the same time not to let those feelings of something approaching awe get in the way of having a normal, friendly conversation. <laughs>